Well, it's that time of year for fall and holiday decorations that many of us look forward to every year. I want to welcome you to the Crafty Queen channel and please subscribe if you haven't already. The first craft we're going to get into is how to make this door hanger, which as you can see, it's perfect for the spring and the fall season. I picked up this wood hello sign from Dollar Tree along with this galvanized butterfly and I took them apart so that I could spray paint them these two different colors, this Rust-Oleum metallic gold and this Rust-Oleum satin white. And this is how they turned out. I glued my hello sign back together and for the butterfly I used these velcro letters that already had adhesive on the back but I applied some super glue just to make sure they stayed in place. With this printed burlap ribbon that I already had on hand I made a little bow. I picked up this boxwood foilage from Walmart for 97 cents and I stapled a piece of it to my wooden sign along with the bow. This sign is going on someone else's front door which is going to be exposed to the sun a lot so I try to use a staple gun as much as possible. I stapled some twine on the back so you can hang it on a hook and I added some magnets that I got from Dollar Tree some years ago. And guys, I absolutely adore this sign and it could be on your door all year long. Now I gotta make one for myself. Next is this dining room table centerpiece. I took this Dollar Tree foliage and I spray painted it with a full coat of this silver metallic spray paint. Then I went over it with this gold spray paint but I lightly dusted it. I did the same thing with these berries but I gave them a full coat of this white spray paint first before I lightly dusted them with the gold as well. And keep this technique in mind because you're going to see me use it again. These pumpkins I just spray painted them with the full coat of the silver and these mini pumpkins, I spray paint them with the full coat of just the white spray paint. I've done various crafts in the past with this old styrofoam pumpkin that I got from Dollar Tree many years ago. But this time I'm just going to cover it up with a piece of fabric and I'm going to close it up with a rubber band. And I lost the footage to this but I took some floral wire and I wrapped it around a pencil on both ends and I spray painted it gold and here I am gluing it around my pumpkin. Earlier this year I bought this basket from Goodwill for only four dollars and I hadn't figured out what I was going to do with it until now. I lightly spray painted it with this white spray paint. I want it to look a little rustic and then I just filled it in with um, some tissue paper because it has holes at the bottom and I didn't want it to dirty up the table. And then I lined it up with some green garland and some Spanish moss. And I put a styrofoam block in the middle. And finally, I just arranged all of my pieces inside of it.
Now I was making this centerpiece for a friend of mine and she had no idea that I was making it and fortunately she had already bought this table runner to go on her dining room table and both of them turned out to look perfect together. Number three is the scent tray which is fairly easy to put together. I already had this cake tray that was given to me. All I did was spray paint it silver and then lightly dust it with the gold spray paint technique. And then I just topped it off with a few pumpkin accessories that I already had on hand. Now this one you have the option of finishing it off with an incense holder such as this one from Dollar Tree. Or you could do what I did and I filled in the emptiness with the leftover boxwood foliage that I had and a candle. Number four is all about a few small simple additives that you could do to add fall to your decor. Such as these pumpkins and this candlestick holder. All I did was spray paint them black and white to match the decor of my son's bathroom. And I just replaced some items in his bathroom with them. And I did small examples such as this throughout the rest of my house as well. Number five is a garland for the fireplace. Now I've never made a garland before, but I recently just cut up some old jeans and made them into some shorts. And I decided to save the leg part for this project. And basically I started off by cutting the fabric into individual pieces such as this. To add texture to the garden, I found some other fabric around the house to also cut into the same size pieces and I also got some burlap ribbon. Then I took a needle and some thread and I doubled the thread and I made the thread as long as the width of my fireplace and then I just started folding the individual pieces and sticking the thread through them. I also decided to make a little pattern with this so I added a beaded pearl at the end of each section that I sewed together. Once my garland was the width of my fireplace, then I knotted off the end and I took a piece of twine and I tied it around both ends to make a loop. I wasn't too sure if I would like this, but it didn't turn out half bad. And I thought it was a smart way to use some extra fabric that I had left around. And it did go with my decor.
And last but not least is the front porch decorations. These are some Dollar Tree items that I had recently purchased except for the pail. I already had some of those left over from previous projects over the years. And I'm just going to cut this sign up into three individual pieces. Now my pails already have some styrofoams left in them from a previous project which is good. I'm going to leave that in there. And then I'm going to cut some bamboo skewers and I'm going to glue it to the back of each of these individual signs. And now the only thing that's left is to fill it up with some Spanish moss and start sticking in the flowers and the wheat and the cattails throughout the bucket. And I did this to two other buckets as well. Now for my display, I'm using this crate that I already had on hand as well as this, I don't know what this is, some kind of basket or something that I got from Goodwill some years ago that I thought looked very interesting. And I'm just going to fill in the crate with some tool and I'm going to fill it with, with these Dollar Tree pumpkin steaks that I bought last year. I cut most of the steaks off but I left a little piece so that I could stand the pumpkins up. And then I also have these other um, Dollar Tree steaks that I cut the tails off as well. And I'm just going to put them inside of my bucket and just fill my bucket with any leftover scraps of flowers and wheat and cattails that I have left over. And I added my home sweet home buckets to finish off the looks. Well, almost finish off the looks. I gotta add some more pumpkins to it. I probably went a little overboard with this front porch display, but I was doing something else on my front porch that was taking up the majority of the space. So this is literally the only area that I had to decorate for fall this year. But I think it turned out nice. Okay you guys, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching my channel. I'm about to go get ready for the really good stuff, which is Halloween, which is coming up soon. And like always, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications, and I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Bye.